Hi. While creating a flow, you can actually set that PDF Butter must update the data via calling a flow instead of updating the data itself via the, uh, uh, the configuration. So here I have my actionable, and in this actionable, I have set a flow. So that's the uh, um, the technical name of the API name of this of a flow. And if I go and check out the flow, so the API name can be copied from here. Uh, when I check out this flow, you will see that there is a loop in there. That's exactly what you want to do in this case. So we might say that um, our uh, our contact Anna Smith, she might uh, uh, provide comments on the opportunities that she has. In this case, she has three opportunities, and we want her to give uh, the option to her that to create uh, to give comments on those three opportunities. We're going to create a case. And on that case, for each opportunity she provides comments for, we're going to create a case comment. So let's take a look. What we have done is we have created um, a data source to, uh, to get all of the opportunities from the contact. Uh, that's a list data source, as you can see. And then we have created a uh, table row that will repeat every item in that list. So that's default PDF Butler, just repeating data and then uh, from a row, in a row. So we're going to print out the name of the opportunity here and uh, we're going to create a single for form uh, field. So the cool thing is that this single for form field actually now sits in a list. So we can uh, uh, create one single for form field for every opportunity opportunity that is linked to our uh, contact Anna Smith. When we are going to save the data, so when Anna, uh, when, the, when Anna is going to submit the data, we actually going to call this flow, and this flow will uh, continue the process. There is already an item online in our academy that shows how to create a. Uh, data via a flow that's this one but now on top of that we're going to show how you can actually now take uh, advantage of uh, list data that you can also start to update so in this case what we have done is we have created a new variable yeah? so that's just a new resource uh, the resource we call that the variable of type variable we're going to do test here because i already created it uh, the name oh sorry that's not correct the name of the variable must be the name of the merge field of our single for form field or transient for form field doesn't matter so it must be the merge field so it has to be called a description the type has to be apex defined you have to check allow multiple values and available for input Allow multiple values means that you're going to have a, a collection of, inf of data. So instead of getting one item back, one um, variable back, we're going to get a list of variables. And that's perfect because we're expecting a list of opportunities that she will comment on. So the Apex class we're going to do here is uh, called a form butler uh, data and metadata flow. So that's it. That's our configuration. Uh, of course, I have already set it up over here, and you can see that it's uh, called description. So that's the name of our um, merge field. It's uh, Apex defined. It is a collection, and it's available for input. Okay, all of the stuff is there. So that's what I've done. And now what I'm going to do here is create a loop that will loop through the collection of description items. So that loop we're now going to use and in that loop i'm going to create a new record for the case in the in the uh, for, sorry for the case comments i'm going to set the body and the parent id those are the two uh, mandatory fields in there but you can do your own logic obviously yeah? this is just an example but you just can now fill in your fields and create the case comments for every item in the loop Yes, it would be better if I would just create a list of case comments and then update the or uh, insert those uh, at the end. That's correct. But for demo purposes, uh, I'm going to do the insert inside the loop. But OK, that's not the most nice thing to do. Let's do a test. So I'm going to create here 
uh, my form butler and I have used the uh, uh, actionable form butler now so that uh, uh, the class form butler now so that means it's going to open up the uh, form butler immediately um, I can set here the same things as before so uh, okay this is now a text box but it can be a pick list or a drop down or check boxes I'm going to set the origin is web uh, this is other and now I'm going to give in some comments so this is a uh, comment comment one and this i'm gonna do comment two and then i'm gonna say oh um comment comment three i see i put a typo here but that's perfect so all the typos are great and uh, i'm gonna now submit it on the submit it will see that the actionable has an uh um, has a uh, flow and it will execute the flow. Let's take a look and see if there are any new cases uh, for Anna. So yes, there is a case created right now. And in that case, I can see that there is indeed uh, three case comments created. So it sets the type to other, the origin to web, and has created three comments like uh, as done in the loop.